Let's have a little bit more fun with this so-called dungeon lever uh, before we leave the modeling in this video and the next one, uh, get into the texturing of this. Uh, I had some requests to put a, a gem on this thing. So yeah, so what I've done is I've created a reference image here and I'll make the download available. So if you're just getting started with this, you could model against this or you could just use it to, to uh, see where I'm going with this. All right, so let's do this. Let's make some changes. And uh, this often happens when we're modeling. Uh, we decide we don't like the design. So we're gonna come out here and let me delete all those faces and I'm gonna select a little bit of this and Control L, that'll select everything linked. Get rid of that and then we can come over here and here and Control E, bridge edge loops. And then I have these, can get, I'll get rid of those for now. Uh, let's get rid of those. All right, what do we got on this guy? Subdivision, okay, that's fine. And uh, I think we're gonna get rid of the top as well. So we're gonna come out to here, and it's gonna come down. I'm hitting the Control Plus, by the way, to expand my selection, Control Plus. Down to about there, we can get rid of all that, just delete faces. So I've got this and I've got it lined up pretty much with uh, with this stuff. Let's look in wireframe at what we're going to do. Okay, I'm going to shift alt and click there and pull this down to here. So we'll do this piece later. Let's do let's do this. We're actually going to be using this the the, uh, the screw tool in a couple of different ways and go back into object actually I need to select here let's bring the 3d cursor there we're going to be using the screw tool like I say so let's use it to do this it's such an easy way to do it let's bring in a plane go into edit mode and press one for vertex selectors we can see them and merge and center all right now I'm going to slide this vertex over hopefully you can see that there and then we're just going to create a shape similar to this one. So I'm gonna do that by pressing E and just pulling out. E and pulling out and just trace the contour of this like this. It doesn't matter if it's not exactly the same, just make something that looks kind of like this. So I'm not choosing any magical number of vertices, I'm just doing it. And I'm not always leaving the same amount of space either, although that's sort of a good idea. We're gonna come up to here and round it a bit and then come in. And then we're going to come down. I'm going to leave it at that point. Press the uh, tab button to go back into object mode. So this is what I have. Over to the modifiers and screw. Now the polys are probably flipped. We can have a look at that there. So we just come down here under normals and just choose flip. And now they're facing the right way. All right. So I've got the screw modifier there. I'm going to add a subdivision. And for now, we'll just leave it at one. And this is basically what it's gonna look like. We have to do a little bit of tweaking and we will do that. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the screw modifier and not apply the subdivision. And this is what we have. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another edge loop in here just to sort of sharpen that up a little bit. And I'm gonna come down to here and I'm gonna take, let's, let me look in wireframe and make sure I don't have any other ones. Yeah, okay. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to press E to extrude and come in a little and E and come down just a little bit, just to make sure that it's in there and uh, and it's doing well. I'm gonna slide an edge loop down and do that kind of thing. All right, so we've got that. So what we need is this piece here and that piece and then we're gonna do some wrappings around it. So I've got uh, that selected, I guess, on uh, the top of the the lever itself. So I'm going to shift D to duplicate that, pull it down, spread it out a bit or scale it out, P to break it out. So I've got that. It's got a subdivision on. We can leave that on there. That's fine. It's going to edit mode, pull it down and back in a wireframe. And now we're going to make this. I'm going to extrude up like that. Go back in a solid view. Let's focus just on that. And I'm going to E to extrude and Alt S and push. No, pull, no. Okay, so it's not behaving well. So when that happens, just go back to this, select it all, merge by distance in case I did something, and Alt N, recalculate outside. I'm gonna press three for face selection. E, Alt S, and pull. And I'm gonna pull in till it sort of touches, and X faces, delete those faces. 
Now I'm going to come back out. I'm going to turn that off for the moment. Okay. You see the sickly kind of shadowing effect there? It's because this is flipped, and I'll prove it to you by coming over here. So just select it, Alt N, recalculate outside. And now it looks better. I don't know if you could see that difference or would know to see that difference, but I can tell. I'm going to round this pretty good and put three like that. I'll put the subdivision back on and shade smooth and decide if I like that. Now this is actually going to go and cover up where they join. So something like that. So even if it's not exactly on the diagram, that's okay. Or we could take this and we could, we could select that and we could make it a bit longer in wireframe, box select there and just pull it down, something like that. Yeah, that's, that's probably all right. Okay, is that wide enough? We may have to get it a little bit bigger, but I think it's okay. Let's put those uh, little dots on there. What I did is I just took this one here and uh, Control L to select all of it. Shift D to duplicate, bring it up, P to break it out. And grab that and just slide it up. Press period key to zoom in on that. And I guess it's buried in there, so let's pull it out. I'm gonna look from the side. And I can just press G and pull it in like that. I might scale this in the Y, make it stick out a little bit more. All right, so that looks okay. So let's, let's now get that to go around. So let's select the whole thing and bring the 3D cursor there. So it's right in the middle of that ring. Take this, let's look from the top. Go into edit mode, it is selected. Can't really see it, so I'll go into wireframe. I'm gonna switch over to 3D cursor. Now my pivot's right in the middle. Shift D, rotate Z 180. So I've got two, A to select them both. Shift D, rotate Z 90. Now I've got four, A to select them all. Shift D, rotate Z 45. So we should have them all. Let's go back into solid view. And there they are. Huh. I mean, you may not do that in in geometry, you might do that in texturing, but I've got it there in geometry just because we're modeling. All right, so far so good. Let's go ahead and do a gem. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to do the gem part. So for the moment, uh, and so that means there might be a tiny bit more modeling. I'm gonna create a little, uh, little band here to hold it. So Shift D to duplicate. Uh, I've got something else selected. Nah, I was just in there. You gotta remember to go back. Uh, in case I've done anything, create extra vertices, I do that. All right, now I can select that. P to break it out. Take this piece here, and I'm going to uh, E and S come in a little bit. Just give it some, some width or thickness. E, extrude down. I'm gonna get rid of the bottom faces. Probably gonna have to make it a bit wider than that. Let's shut this off. So, and it's discolored. Notice that. There we go. Let's take this and Alt S and push, I guess, to make it bigger. And I just want to take this and sort of push it down and then we'll figure out exactly where it's going to go. I can scale it a bit, exactly where it's going to go. I'll put the subdivision back on and probably we'll put some edge loops in there in a moment. Let's get back to that. So let's use that, bring the 3D cursor there. I'm going to use a, not a cube again, a circle. Those cubes want to be used. I'll do eight vertices. You can do six, but I'm gonna do eight. And F to make a face, E to extrude and pull down and scale in. Um, I'm not gonna close it off, but I'll get rid of that face. And then it's up to you how you wanna do this. I'm gonna inset and pull up like this a little bit, flip it. And that's gonna be my gem there. So let's select it all, go to edge selection and control B to bevel and pull, and I want to roll back to two, I want three. That should give me the smoothness, but still be able to see the edges. And I was going to push that under, something like that, which means I probably could get rid of some of the bottom stuff. So let's now come back to this and just bevel these top edges here, control B and pull with the three, like that. Okay, that's good enough for now. Let's come back to this looking at it from the front and uh, you can see there's another piece of metal right there so well, the way i'm going to do that is i just need an edge and i, I i'll just drop one in and, and bring it to like the bottom of that and then i'm going to actually break it out 
So I've got that and I'm in uh, edit and I'm going to scale it out and then extrude it up to about there. And I'll use that. All right, to be sure, I will recalculate outside E and Alt S and pull until it makes contact and delete those faces. I'll take it and I will recalculate outside. Two for edge selection and I will select the top and the bottom edge. And I will do a nice big bevel like that and shade smooth. And I've got that. And this one may have to be wider because I want the strap to go under it so we're not, we don't see it. All right, let's do the leather strap right now. I've got my 3D cursor right in the middle there and I'm going to bring in a plane and I'm gonna rotate X90, scale it down. And what I really want is just this edge here. So I'm going to select this edge and X vertices. So I've got this and I'm gonna scale that down. I don't need it that big and pull it up a little ways and we'll start using the screw modifier here, screw. And you can see it goes around and I'm gonna hold shift and pull and it'll do this, it'll start going like that. I'm gonna scale this again so I get the approximate width of these things that I want. Let's have a look at the diagram. I can take this G and pull it in and as I pull it in, it wraps closer I just want to bring it to around there and scale it again. And I will come back to solid view. And you see as I pull in, it wraps closer and closer. And so we'll just give this a try. Let's just pull this down a little bit and then we'll increase the iterations. So I'll do something like that. Let's scale it in the Z again and uh, lower this so we can get a few of these things something like that we we'll pull the whole thing down and what I'm going to want to do is wrap this underneath and I also want a little bit of the wood showing through so it, you just have to sort of go back and forth and uh, zero, zero 08 let's try point 0.1 no 0 0.09 might be what I'm looking for. No, 0 0.085, I think. And we may settle on that. Okay. Mm, I'm going to scale it and make it a bit smaller and pull it down a little bit and just have some more. So it's Okay, 0.05. We'll try that, maybe another iteration. So what have I got here? I've got one, two, three, four, five going under. One, two, three, four, five and going under. Okay. All right. So that is okay for that part. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a shrink wrap and I'm going to select that and I'm going to see if I do that if I can increase this just a little bit so it's just a little bit off the surface I don't even necessarily need the shrink wrap and now I'm going to add a solidify and just figure out the thickness that I want. It might be something along that line. In fact, I want to keep playing, I think, with the, uh, the screw modifier. I think I may want it that tight, and I'll try another iteration. I may go for that. All right, so once I'm happy with that, I'm going to apply that and I will apply the shrink wrap and I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And then I'm gonna come in here and drop an edge loop and just pull it up and an edge loop and pull it down. So we can start getting some definition and we can try control one and see how we like that. And it doesn't go all the way around, but that's fine, I'm not going to uh, view it from the other side. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and scale it in the Z a little bit 
like this. And then I'm going to have to position these a little bit differently. I'm going to have to change their size, I think. Uh, unless I scale it in the Z a bit more. No, that's about it there. So I'm going to take this one. And, I mean, it's a bit trial and error how, how you do this, but I'm going to take this one and just pull it up. I should be doing this maybe in solid so that it just covers that in there. So it goes in. And I'm also going to take this one and I'm going to pull it down a little bit so that it covers where that, that piece ends. And then I'll take these guys here and just adjust to make it a bit more central. So that's, that's just the way that goes. Uh, based on how you do this. So I can get some wood showing underneath and I can get these bands as well. And that is that. I think we've got it. Let's hide that and let's hide. Let's actually just have a look quickly here. Yeah, okay, let's hide that. Yeah, and this is what we end up with. <laughs> so far so you could grab the handle or you could be grabbing the handle and have your fingers you know down here you could grab the handle here and partially on the leather band or it's just there for design or whatever otherwise i was thinking you could put spikes there so you better be careful grabbing that handle all right so that is what we have so far and um i did consider pushing these down a little further but i think i'll leave it for the time being and that is our thing and then we'll just make a decision about about the gem like that it almost looks more like a button that you press cool well i might make a couple of tweaks you never know but otherwise we'll come back hopefully in the next video and we'll start uh doing some textures on this so if you want to uh, model this exact same thing and uh you need the uh where is it where'd it go uh, yeah and you need the image i'll have a download link i'll put it on the on the discord and you can uh, model against this or just or just use it in any way you see fit all right thanks for watching and we'll see you next time